out of this, I'm going to close my layer, and I'll be back in my composition right here. For this, I'm going to show you how to use the rubber stamp tool right up here, the clone stamp tool in your tool brush. I'm going to use the camel again. I'll just drag it here. And this time, I'll call this paint a rubber stamp. OK. Here's my rubber stamp composition, composition right here. Now, I'm going to double click on it to open it up in the new layer and choose the rubber stamp tool right up here, clone stamp. Now, I've already got my brushes and paint open. I'm going to choose a softer brush. Uh, let's make it a little bit bigger. Now, I'm going to choose single frame because let's say I want to paint out these birds from the scene. Let's do a little bit bigger. I'm going to choose right here. You option or alt click what you're going to sample. Paint it out as you see fit. I option clicked right there. Okay, so let me get this other side. Think about each side as you're painting it out. So that's single frame. So now when I go page down to go to the next frame, the birds reappear. And again, I paint them out with the rubber stamp tool. Like such. So I'm going to go back a frame. They're gone. I'm going to go forward frame. They're gone. See that little patch of grass? I'm just going to fix that up right there. Oops. Missed it. So I'm going to click right here. So now when you go back, it's much... I'll go one more frame. And again, they're back in the shot. So I choose the parts I want to use to sample. I hold down Option or Alt to select what I'm going to be sampling. Get it from both sides. For... That last one was a little bit off. Now, you can adjust your roundness here. I normally do hardness like uh, 40% or something like that. I, I really don't want much spacing, but I was just showing you how to use the rubber stamp tool to paint out. And again, you have to do it frame by frame for situations like this. It's also good for removing things from the shot. Now, if it's say this is a static shot, I could just do constant and paint out the birds if the camera wasn't moving and then it'd be all well and good as long as the camel didn't go over so that's the difference between single frame and constant when you're using your rubber stamp tool to take things out of your shot